back to the idea that you you know you say we need more stimulus. Does the Obama administration deserve any blame for not doing a better job in shaping the debate? Because it does seem that the Republicans are winning when it comes, at least the d debate part of it, and shaping how voters are thinking about it in terms of like worry about the deficits. Polls show that voters are very concerned about spending. And it's getting to a point where it's incredibly difficult for Democrats to pass more spending bills. Like every time it's sort of a knockdown, drag out fight. Does the Obama administration deserve any blame for not doing a better job defining the debate? I think we all do. All deserve some of the blame. That includes members of the press, who I think haven't done a very good job well, talking easy about to, stimulus. It's easy to blame the press. <laughs> well, uh, well, especially when it's accurate. I'm not blaming you specifically, Victoria, but whenever the press doesn't talk about truly the economic issues, but when somebody makes a bold assertion and they say, we have a deficit problem, don't spend, and it's reported, we have a deficit problem, when that's not true, we don't have a short-term deficit problem. You know that, he knows that, I know that, and he knows that. And every economist in the country knows that. Yet you've not made the case. So yeah, the, the Obama says they deserve some of the, the blame for it. We, me, the labor movement deserves part of the blame because we haven't done enough job. You deserve part of the blame because the press hasn't done part of the job. And quite frankly, the ones that have been masterful of this uh, are the Republican spin machine because they've done a wonder wonderful job of creating fiction and making it seem like fact. We have a jobs crisis in this country. We don't have a deficit crisis in this country. And yet people try to make them equal. And by the way, I've knocked on thousands of doors in, in the elections, and I have yet to knock on a door where someone comes out and says, the deficit is the biggest problem. I'll tell you what they tell me. The biggest problem is job and job creation, health care, pension security, those are the, in education, those are the things I hear at the door when we knock on the door. And we knock on about twenty-five to 30,000 a week.